ناؤ دی اپر مڈل کلاس و آخرون مرجون لے امر اللہ there are still others whose case has been held in suspense for Allah's decree or Allah's command imma yuazibuhum wa imma yatubu alayhim it's up to Allah it's possible that he gives them the punishment and it is also possible that he accepts the tawbah from them wallahu alimun hakim and Allah is all knowing all wise now this was the case of three very sincere companions of the prophet and the longest hadith as far as i think in in the sahih of bukhari pertains to this incident hazrat kaab ibn malik radiyallahu ta'ala an and murara ibn rabi and hilal ibn umayya radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in these three were most sincere people and they had never faltered faltered or faulted at any other occasion but at this time something happened and they didn't go and Hazrat Kaab ibn Malik has given in full detail that my nafs you know kept deceiving me okay you are healthy your you know camel is very sturdy you can move fast let the this this you know formation of 30,000 it can move slowly let them start they are going they are leaving today I can leave tomorrow, day after, and being a single journeying person, I can go fast. And I have a very sturdy camel. So I can enjoy a few days more here with the family, living at home. So in that way, my nafs, you know, kept me deceiving and deceiving till such time that it dawned on me that now, howsoever fast I go, I can't catch with the Prophet's blood. So he came to the Prophet, accepted he said, I have also this tongue. I can also tell a lie. When he was brought to the book, an explanation was called. But you know, I know it, that I can deceive you, but not Allah. So I accept. I was never healthier, more healthier than I was at that time. I was never wealthier, more wealthy than I was at that time when you were leaving. I had everything. I have no excuse to present. I confess. I accept my guilt. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam kept the cases of these three persons. The same was the case of other two also. Murara ibn Rabi, Hilal ibn Umayya. But the story has been told in full detail by Hazrat Kaab ibn Malik. And it is included in the Sahih of Imam Bukhari rahimahullah. It's very important because you know people who are engaged in some struggle for them, these things are very important to understand, to have an insight. What happens to people at times? You know, even the most sincere people, they can slip. Something can happen. And this Saturn can deceive them. So that, that understanding and insight we must have. Because we have also to deal with people, human beings. If this could happen to the companions of the Prophet there's more likelihood that this thing will happen with us and with our companions and with our, you know, whosoever are joined together with us in some struggle and, and some, you know, movement. Their case will be discussed again, inshallah, when the, their, the acceptance of their tawbah was uh, announced. But this is the upper middle class. They were close, most sincere sahaba. But they also slipped. وَآخَرُونَ مُرْجَوْنَ لِأَمْرِ اللَّهِ مَا يُعَذِّبُهُمْ وَمَا يَتُوبُ عَلَيْهِمْ وَاللَّهُ عَلِيمُ الْحَكِيمُ وَالَّذِينَ اتَّخَذُوا مَسْجِدًا زِرَارًا Now this is another, a big conspiracy of the hypocrites of Medina. They wanted some center so that they can gather over there. They can have consultations among them. And where you know, if somebody is coming from outside Medina also, he can also stay. So they built a mosque. They called it a mosque. In the vicinity of Masjid Quba, the Masjid Quba, you know, which was the first mosque built at the place where Prophet ﷺ, after reaching Medina, when he made Hijrah, he stayed there for a few days. So that was the place, Masjid Quba. But very near, there was no need of any other mosque. The mosque was very quite at hand. When the Masjid Quba was there, 
there was no need of any other mosque to be built but they built and they said oh oh prophet of allah some of us are lazy some of us can't reach masjid quba all the five times so we have built this masjid so please once please visit us so that you know if you also visit there so we shall have baraka and we shall have all the glory of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessing but the prophet you know refused he said okay if i come back from tabuk then i'll see to it i'll i'll try so that was the case which he you know postponed but now allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is forbidding him wal ladina takhadu masjidan ziraran wa kufran wa tafriqan bain al mu'minina wa irsadan liman harab allah wa rasulahu min qabl as to those who have set up a mosque but what for to hurt the cause of islam ziraran wa kufran to promote disbelief the tafriqan bain al mu'minin and promote dissension and division among the muslims wa irsadan liman harab allah wa rasulahu and to make it an outpost for those who are hostile towards allah and his messenger so that away from the main city of madina they can gather there it's the outpost and if somebody is coming from outside also with some message from the, the other you know hostile enemies of allah subhanahu wa taala he can come and stay over there so that his presence is not known to all the muslims so all these were the purposes allah subhanahu wa taala has cleared made them clear wal ladina takhadu masjidan ziraran wa kufran wa tafriqan bain al mu'minin wa irsadan liman harab allah wa rasulahu min qabl who have been hostile to allah and his messenger from before wala yahlifunna in aradna illa al husna they will swear definitely swear they will state an oath we didn't intend anything except the best we had the best of intention the prophet of allah wallahu yashhadu innahum lakazibun and allah testifies that they are liars they are telling a lie la taqum fihi abadan never stand in that mosque you oh prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam la masjidun usses ala taqwa min awwal yawm ahqqu an taquma fi the mosque which was founded from the very first day on taqwa on piety on fear of allah that that has both right that you should stand in it this is masjid quba that is the mosque there you go there you stand there you pray there fi rijalun yuhibbuna an yatatahharu in that mosque there are people who wants the purification they love very much purification wallahu yuhibbul mutahhirin allah very much loves the people who who take two purifications of their bodies also and their souls also 